I think there is no disagreement among anyone at the, in the state level government that we're truly in a public health crisis. I mean, if this was heart attack or stroke or even cancer and we had this many people dying, and especially very young people like this, we would be going, where's the research? Where's the data? We've got to do something now. And, and that's what everybody's trying to come to grips with is, you know, when it's, uh, other things are easier to get your hands around when it's a public health crisis. You know, TB, we knew, develop drugs and, and give them to people and keep them away from others until they get well. And that seemed almost easy compared to this, which is tied up in so many socioeconomic factors, um, just so many things that go on that's very hard to tease out. And, of course, the stigma of being addicted to drugs. People don't, people aren't hesitant to tell you, oh, I had a heart attack. People aren't even hesitant these days to tell you, oh, I have cancer. But people are extremely hesitant to say, I use drugs, because they're afraid, number one, of course, there's a legal component to that they're worried about. But they're also worried about what people will think of them. And, and they're, they feel ashamed, and that shame is part of what keeps them from seeking treatment.